YouTube, how are you all doing? Good to see you. As you can see, we're about to go on to disc three. We we came a long way. Um, yeah, we were good though. All of that. Boom. But yeah, how are you all doing? As I was asking earlier, hope you're doing amazingly well. You're up to great things. You're enjoying yourself. Uh, school's back in session. To those of you back in school, I hope you're studying hard, hitting those books. Literally, figuratively, whatever you prefer. I know sometimes you gotta punch that book, let out all that stress and anger. Hey, if that works for you, uh, just make sure you don't break your hand, you know? Because if you still are using books, those can be pretty expensive, and then you break the book. Well, that's gonna suck if you have to pay for it. Ha! <laughs> I'm kidding. Not really. But at the same time, you know? What's up? Ah, uh, look at that. We're back on the boat. Seems we're, uh. Oh, yeah, Stardust. Stardust. What's up, Shauna? Talk to me. You excited? This is a... This is a pretty nice city. Chapter 3. Fate and Soul. Yeah, let's look up. Let's look it up again. There's like two in this building, I believe. I'm not sure. Or in this building in this, t uh, in this town. Whatever you want to call it. There's a smell of blood around this place, but it's not bad at all. Maybe it's because they're fishing, Rose. Let's be positive here. I mean, we did just come to a water city. There's fish. That's there's no. Yeah, there, there's something crazy going on. Let's be real. <sighs> it's been a long time. Have you been here? Um. Yeah, well, I'm very popular. That's why. Whatever you say. Congo cross sea first time. Fernie, the water city. This port is the front door to Mill Sioux. Anyway, I wonder why Lloyd revealed his destination to us. Who knows, but we're gonna kick his ass. I still don't know. Whatever he wants, this will be the end of it. I agree. For the sake of the victims so far, it's not only that. In order to prevent there being new victims, we have to stop Lloyd. And beat his ass. Alright, start us something. Let's see, where is the start us at? Where do we keep our start us? We keep it in the, um... Controller, work. Uh, hold on, I gotta fix my controller because I turned off the analogs off. Okay, there we go. Controller's back on the analog mode. It's just easier in analog mode because I don't have to hold a button to run. I know. Such a such a pain to be able to hold the button to run within most games at the staple. But don't you dare judge me. Um, apparently they're starting us in this building in these barrels. It is sitting next to a fishing rod. Is this used for fishing too? Not anymore. We just stole your stardust, buddy. Um, and now we go. I don't know where we're supposed to go next. Actually, I forgot. Can I go down here? Hey, what's your name? Stop moving, you stupid kid. There are fairies living in the evergreen forest. Fairies. Is there stardust over here? Don't look like it. You stupid kid, get out of my way. I think that's all we have to do in there. I think we can get some good gear and stuff like that, too. So I think that's why I also put off uh, buying items and such, you know? Hey, you get out. Get out! Will you get out of my way? I hate when they uh, have the NPCs block your way. That actually upsets me so much. Like, whoever was doing the mapping for that, why wouldn't you either, you know, extend the shit? So... We can walk side by side. Um, yeah, hey. Can I... Okay, never mind. I can't buy your items here. I have to... That's... I, I understand that I should be... Whatever. Whatever. No, no, get out of my way. Hey, you, kid. What's your name? Thank you for welcoming here. I'll give you 200 gold. Wait, can I afford that? Who's in my party? Okay, these these guys. 
Oh yeah, I got four two hundred gold. I'll get that back in nothing. Honestly, this is the most gold that I've ever that I've really ever had in a game, which is pretty surprising. Oh, um, what's going down over here? Hey, it's you assholes from the tournament. Fucking assholes. Try to cheat. What are you dickbags doing here? I'm sorry, I'm just upset that they tried cheating. This seems to be all of us. Now, I'll explain the strategy. We have to overcome the white wolf called Kamui that lives in the evergreen forest between this village and Deningrad. Did you call us just for that? Not only that, a boy from the village, Tio, disappeared in the evergreen forest. The strategy is simple. All of us will beat the bushes all over the evergreen forest. What if the kids hid in the bushes? You'll beat the kids' ass too. I promise a five times larger prize for the one of for the one of you who defeats Kamui. I promise the same for the one who saves Tio. Hey, watch where you're swinging at. It's gonna be me. I'm itching to do it. Hey, he's that mercenary guy from uh, the Black Castle. Who are you? I've never seen you before. Oh. Okay, I thought you were that asshole. But, you know, you're still an asshole. Get out of my face before I beat your ass. You look like you have a chance, but I'm getting the prize. Don't ever disturb me. Whatever. Are you scared out of your wits and cannot talk? Cut it out. We have to cooperate or we cannot overcome Kamui. <clears throat> Stop being a dick. Chill, dude. Chill. I'll let you know when we will start. Until then, you have some free time. You were dismissed. I wish I could swing around my axe. My giant axe. I think I'm compensating for something, eh? Like, get out of my face. Oh, boy. Do you see me? Huh? Huh? Shut up. It's just one wolf, I'll shoot with my arrow. You look familiar, were you that dick that, uh, you know... Asshole. <laughs> Hate those people. They're, they, they're dicks in the tournament. They're like, oh, hey. I can unleash my super school techniques. Uh, you, uh, can I use your boat? Here's the license for the boat. Warriors free. Hey, warriors. Whoa. You are the warriors. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Of course we are. Now oh, we look fishy. You dick. Wow. But we are warriors, though. Oh, the fishy people. <laughs> I like how they actually put that he called us the fishy people ah uh, no we're not <laughs> with that huge boat yeah that's us though only two seven so if we told the truth he would have recognized us anyway but come on you you just called us the fishy people we, we are not necessarily lying, per se, because I feel like we're going to get involved anyway. I mean, why not just be like, yeah. Hun, let the mayor know about this. He'll be happy to hear about this. Of course. Give me a boat, damn it! Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's not to say that you run off. Oh, uh, hey, uh, thank you for the license. I have to thank you. Thanks to you, we can go fishing and go to Tiberoa. If you need anything, oh yeah. You'll give me a good. I can't stay for free. You'll give me a. Fuck you! I hate this so much. We are heroes. You gave me a free fucking boat license, but you can't give me free room and board? What is your problem? I'm the reason why you can go fishing again. To the, uh, to the front. To the front, yeah, to the front. Oh, hey, a weapon guy. But no, we need to get, uh,. I need to sell some items and, uh, yeah, sell some items. 
the item shop. Are we rowing? I actually don't know how we do this. I'm, oh, I'm assuming he's paddling. Uh, talk to the item shop, dude. Yeah. We're just standing in the, I'm in the boat. That's cool. Healing fog. Yep. Healing fog. We need five of those. So let me get rid of the, uh, the shit. Like this gushing magma. I wish I could. There was an easier way to do this in this frozen jet, and I think that's all we need to get rid of. Actually, no, 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 no. I'll keep this ashes, but I, I don't need the recovery balls. Fuck those things. Actually, no, fuck the attack balls. I don't need those, definitely. I might keep one to see if I can get lucky and, uh, you know, total vanishing. That'll actually come in handy. If I can run into one of those, uh, things. Speed up. Okay, and the magic six stone, okay. So we're gonna nose. Let's go buy some of these. Two, three, four, five. Sun Rhapsody, Angel's Prayer, the Petrifier. Oh my god, you can get Petrified in this game? I forgot about that. I'm not buying it. If I get Petrified, that's my fault. Oh shit, what if I get Petrified? Might be bad. Whatever, we'll, we'll play it safe. Go to the house on the right, or go to the, uh, let's see, what's in the house to the right? Um, I think that's just the house we checked at the beginning of the episode. Yep, it's, it's the Tully's. Don't need to be here. I, I think if you lose the boat, you have to go to the last place you, that you took it. So... That guy's gonna be like, hey, go get her boat back or something. Alright, let's just go up then. Still don't know how we're moving. I think we're paddling or some shit. Um, Let's go to the left. Is this the weapon dude? Oh, hey, this is the weapon homie. Talk in the weapon shop. I think it means talk inside. Possibly. Um, Giganto Helm, magic attack that boosts your defense but lose your magic attack. Increase escape rate from physical attacks by 5%. We can actually. Yeah, why not? Doesn't do anything. It's not like we have any boots that are doing anything for us anyway. This is physical and attacking power. I should probably give that to you, Elude Cloak. That's all you got. I think I got you. I can't even tell, I don't even remember if I gave him the Congo or not. Talk to the fisherman, where's he at? Oh, he's up there. Yeah, we're the heroes from there. Seems there's no need for you to show up. Dick, don't you disrespect me like that. Put respect on my name with an extra order of fries. Um, move to the right. Um, to the upper right. <clears throat> so yeah, we're not really doing too much here. To the, f to the right. Are, are you really gonna block my path? Fucking asshole. Move. Move. I will beat you. Why can't I just beat his ass? I'll fucking destroy you. Do you know who I am? Um, let's go to the mayor's house. Because we don't need anything else. Not really. We, we can't do anything else. We don't need the clinic. Where are they coming yet? The heroes from Tiberoa. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's me. Hey, buddy. Oh, I couldn't sit still. I was just pacing around waiting for you. The story of your heroic deeds in Tiberoa has reached us here in Furnai. It is wonderful what you did. And now I would like you to listen to my story. 
listen to my story. This may be our last chance. No? Okay. But, but, please wait. I don't know what you're talking about. I would like to talk briefly about the sad situation in this village. Would you please listen to me? Fine. Okay. The black monster. This is my daughter, Fa. A few days ago, my daughter was attacked by a wolf. Fortunately, the injury was not bad. However, since then, she hasn't talked at all. Probably from the shock of the incident. Poor thing. The wolf is becoming more savage every day. Now, he has been joined by the monsters from the evergreen forest, and they attack people. Well, don't monsters normally attack people anyway, without wolves telling them, hey, go attack those people? Stupid idiot. I see. The warriors outside of the group headed for battle. Indeed, if we finish off the wolf, your daughter may become better. But it is more complicated than that. The wolf called Kamui, Kamui, that attacked Fa, was kept by a boy in this village until recently. And the boy who kept Kamui, named Tio, has disappeared. Is it raining? I can't. I think that's an airplane. On the night Fa was injured, Tio disappeared from his home. Probably he feels responsible and ran away. Tio has been Fa's friend since they were little. They are best friends. And you want us to cooperate with you on your mission? Yes, of course I cannot force you. Now we have a lot of warriors. Maybe they are enough. Oh, sorry about this. I have made you listen for such a long time without thinking about you at all. Well, as my apology, won't you stay at my house for tonight? It will be an honor to entertain the heroes. Well... Do you like Shauna? For tonight only, thank you. I am glad. Fa is happy too. She has been lonely since her mother passed away. Aww. Now, let me see. When you are ready to stay, come back. I will prepare dinner with Fa. Later, nerds. We're not staying tonight. Watch him still be there. If he, if he is, I'm gonna be pissed. Like, really pissed. Okay, yeah, we have to go back to the mayor's house. Because asshole McGee is still over there. And I thought the name was good. <laughs> so yeah, let's just go see the mayor. Hey, uh, mayor, I'm, I'm ready to stay tonight. Yeah, let's do it. Sleep over. Uh, yes, we are. Now, let's have dinner. You, you made it that fast. Yes, dear. Are you sleepy? You want to go to bed together? Probably she wants warmth. Let's go to bed together. That's... I guess because we're heroes, it can slide, but isn't it still kind of weird? Even even if Shana is a girl, you know? Motherly instinct and all, I guess. I don't know. Huh? This lullaby. Oh 
home of Hassel 27 years ago. Isn't it a lovely tune? This tune is a lullaby that I am dedicating to my future baby. That might be better for her than mastering the martial arts. She is sleeping now. Isn't it a sweet tune? I learned this from Dart. Dart knew this tune. He said that his late mother sang to him. It's a special lullaby for Dart. What? I see. It was not a coincidence for me to be here. I'm going to get some air. It reminds me that Dart has been outside on the roof forever. Why don't you join him? It's a tune for my memory. Do you remember when you first came to Celis? I was little and you used to sing this song to me. I remember that. Back then I used to take care of you as if you were my real baby sister, Shana. <laughs> like a baby sister, but many things have changed since then. You and I too, Dart. Yeah, you and I too, Shana. <laughs> yes, we have. Childhood friend. Hmm. I wonder how my childhood friend is doing. The moon that never sets. I hadn't noticed, but the moon has been involving itself in our journey. My... My head hurts. Shauna? What's wrong? Are, are you alright? Uh, uh, uh... Oh my goodness. Then again, you did get a gem taken out of your head, so I can see why you'd have a headache. I'm fine now. I can leave any time. Are you really okay? You can stay here forever if you like. Thank you very much, but I really have to go. Now, Sean, if you keep getting sick, I might actually have to use you now. I'll see you soon. Let's go. We have to find Lloyd soon, or it'll be too late. I'm with you. Hey, you guys. Thanks for inviting us to your home. Have a great day. Appreciate the hospitality. But later, nerds. You, you gotta be like, later, nerds, or, you know, all that stuff you said before. It becomes a null and void. They'll, they'll know what it means. They'll, they'll get it. Finally, this dick bag is gone. Is this his house? Yes, it is. Because there's a little doggy door. 
Um, how do I get into the basement? Yo! How do I get into the basement, Doc? Tio, let me into your basement. There's actually Stardust in his basement. Or no, I, I bet. But shit, I have to get into his basement. I forgot how you do that. There has to be a switch somewhere. Wait, did you guys see that? There was a little icon that popped up. Wait, what? <laughs> Dark gets laid out by that. Oh man. But no, there was a thing that popped up when we were at the top. I, I saw it. I know you guys saw it. There we go. Oh wow, there's a thing right in front of us. There we go. I like how they're just laying his explorer house, and they uh, there should be Stardust over here in the metal basin. So that should put us at uh, 37, I think. Okay, good. We're at 37. We're on track. Let's uh, open that, climb up the ladder, and keep going. So we're we're done for Stardust for a little bit. So let's leave. Ooh, I forgot how how banging the mill Sisu music is. So we're gonna go to the Evergreen Forest. Um, don't know what we're supposed to do now. Hey look, it's a monkey thing. Acquire a D-Stone amulet. Yeah, well, you don't need to buy a D-Stone amulet from the dudes because you get one right there. Still forgot that. What the petrification does. And all that jazz. To be completely honest with you. So now we get back. Oh look, it's oh, look, it's new trees. I think this these are one of the few enemies that actually, uh, you know, comes back as whatever you want to call it, magic six stones. Is that it? No, I want pandemonium. I want minor enemy attack. I want them to all target Shauna. You can you can attack Domaru. can build you up real quick. 43 SP, not bad. 105 damage, decent. There, Shauna should get SP for this. 20. But she cannot take a hit at all. So there we go, there we go. That's how we're gonna get SP for Shauna now. So I might actually come here and grind and just let her get smacked by trees and shit. <laughs> just so we can get her uh, SP up. There we go. And then... Now for attacking, boom, that's 70, we're getting some good SP. Damn it, Maru. Okay, good, good, that's some good SP. But it lasts for three turns, Shauna's on her second turn, you don't die. Sc power up, that's scary. You need to die now. There we go, you're out the way. Hero attack Shauna this. Okay, I feel better about mm, I feel better about giving Shauna that thing now and getting her SP together. We'll be able to max out her Dragoon in no time. Oh she can confuse enemies, I forgot about that. Boom. But you snap out of it because you got physically hit. Oh no, enemies don't do it. 
I'm actually surprised. I thought they followed the same rules as uh, us. You just guard, chill, mind your business. Don't you run away from me, you jerk! <laughs> but alright, there we go. We got some pretty good SP for that, for Shana. We got a healing fog. What am I gonna do with that? Wait, did I just ask what am I going to do with a healing fog? I already know what I'm going to do with a healing fog. Alright, I'm going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoy. Have an amazing day. And, you know, we're going to continue on with this venture. I think we're going to end up helping those people stop Kamui from destroying the forest and all that good stuff. You know? So, you know, thank you. Come again.